Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Sohini uh, Andani. I'm managing uh, SBI Magnum Midcap Fund for since uh, uh, 2010. Uh, you must be aware of what is happening in the market space recently, especially uh, in the mid-cap segment. Uh, I thought of giving you some update uh, on this uh, as well as on the fund uh, uh, and what do what should we do ahead uh, going forward. So uh, coming to the recent developments in the market, uh, I think the market, uh, the investors were sitting on sidelines uh, for, for a, a long period of time, almost last uh, one year or so uh, due to various uh, fears uh, in terms of uh, the global slowdown in terms of brexit in terms of uh, you know the local pickup uh, not happening and uh, uh, i think uh, once uh, the events have already been over uh, i think that the money which was waiting on the sidelines uh, it followed into the stock uh, in the recent rally that we saw in the market and uh, I, I think the global markets were the bigger drivers for what happened in the local, uh, local market in terms of a lot of chasing on the stocks which happened. So if one looks at uh, the returns uh, in the mid cap segment, uh, I think from uh, YTD uh, from April to now currently, um, I think the index has moved about 13 to 14 percent. Uh, the fund has also moved about 15%. So it's, it's been a very strong rally uh, that we've seen uh, for, from April to now. Uh, what we've seen before that, however, is that uh, the index, uh, the benchmark uh, gave a negative return uh, in the last uh, financial year. Uh, and the fund, fund uh, did slightly better with about 7% return. So, and uh, previous to that, uh, the two years previous to that, uh, what we saw is that uh, very strong returns uh, in the mid-cap segment, both uh, by the benchmark as well as uh, by the fund. And uh, the last three years, uh, CAGR return uh, for the fund is 35% and benchmark is also fairly strong uh, there, uh, though lower than this. Uh, so uh, the market uh, kind of consolidated after a very two strong years uh, of a significant mid cap outperformance and it's again uh, started to rally. Uh, now this rally is in, in terms of uh, the hope again building up in terms of uh, uh, the economic recovery and the earnings recovery picking up. Basically I think the last one year was a disappointment in terms of uh, the earnings momentum not picking up a strength. Now, uh, given uh, that there are some pointers uh, that this pickup should start happening anytime now, if, if one uh, just looks at this, uh, um, what is the learning for the investors uh, from, uh, from what has happened in the market space? Uh, in the mid cap space, uh, the longer term returns uh, uh, justify investment into the segment. The longer term re returns uh, for the fund, if one looks at it from a last five year perspective, is about 23% CAGR. And uh, that uh, and benchmark has also done pretty well uh, there. And uh, if one looks at it, then it uh, justifies the investment into this segment on a very consistent basis. Uh, what we and one what one has to do as an investor is that one should put money uh, consistently in a staggered manner into this rather than timing the market uh, in a meaningful manner uh, because the sharp rallies in the market are kind of. Uh, you know, uh, leaving the opportunities uh, out uh, for the investors who remain out of the market. So I think uh, uh, the investors should look at uh, allocating a decent sum of money in a, in a very consistent manner uh, into this segment. Uh, coming to the portfolio positioning that we have uh, currently, uh, I think the fund, uh, though it's an absolute return fund and uh, we are more focused on bottom up stock selection over there. Uh, based on you know where do we see uh, the maximum potential for a growth uh, from the sectoral positioning perspective today uh, we have been gradually increasing our weights into industrials and cyclical stocks uh, which are prone or uh, which will benefit from the uh, overall economic recovery which will come and uh, we are also overweight on a healthcare segment uh, where uh, the market has seen a, a significant correction in terms of valuations and expectation and the segment uh, again continues to look very attractive and the growth there is very very uh, attractive. So I think uh, we will continue to focus on these sectors uh, going forward as well. Uh, financials is also a meaningful exposure uh, into the fund uh, though underweight there 
and uh, we are trying to uh, generate alpha over there uh, more from the stock selection uh, rather than you know really benchmarking the portfolio to the index uh, in a meaningful manner so i think uh, the sectors where we will continue to remain positive is uh, industrials uh, cement uh, agrochemicals uh, and financials uh, going into a recovery and uh, we'll try to generate alpha through a bottom up stock selection uh, on a consistent basis in the fund as uh, we have done it in the past so thanks a lot for your time and attention uh, happy to interact with you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully